our fifth inductee is Tonya Ramsell. Tonya was a four-year standout for the women's soccer and basketball teams. In soccer, she recorded 45 goals and 23 assists and is the program's all-time assist leader while ranking third in goals and points. In basketball, she ranked second in career assists with 325 and averaged 6.6 .6 points and 3.1 assists. Aggression, want to win, hostile, very hard worker. Tonya, Tonya is the, uh, the fiercest competitor, I think, one of the fiercest competitors I've ever met. Um, she is, uh, she's always been super competitive. She was, you know, I, I've known her now for, for a long time and, um, you know, good friends with her. And, um, and actually a funny story, she's, she's so competitive that I once, uh, I once saw her um, get into an argument with her now husband, Nick, um, at a staff, staff faculty kickball game over a bad pitch that he gave her. Um, that's just the kind of the person she is. She's uh, super competitive in all aspects. Tony was just a leader. Um, she was stubborn and she's a leader and I watched her grow through that time and learn some humility. Um, and as a college kid, she was someone that asked, knew she didn't have all the answers and she, she asked for help um, navigating some of the challenges of being a, a young leader and respected on a team. She always came and asked for advice, but she was a leader and stubborn at the same time. <laughs> She worked so hard, she was a captain, she was well respected by every teammate, every teammate, and uh, you know, and that's very important. And not only was she respected and did the job, she performed. Her stats prove it. If you looked at her stats for soccer, and if you looked at her stats for basketball, she deserved it on that, and she deserved it on her being a student and a citizen. You know, it's very tough um, to be a dual sport athlete. Um, to be able to do soccer and basketball is definitely one of the toughest ones um, to be a dual sport athlete. Uh, but Tonya, you know, never showed fatigue. Um, she, you know, worked hard and um, put everything into both teams. Um, you know, she cared about her teammates on, on both, both teams. She uh, was a great student, which showed by her going on to graduate school here at Stevenson. Um, just a leader. She always pushed for everything she had. She worked hard for everything she had. It wasn't like everything came naturally to her. So people watched her work through all of her challenges and then have some success. She's also been deeply committed to the university since her graduation. Um, and she's been one of the biggest advocates for the value of that college. From the class of 2008, it is my honor to welcome Tonya Ramsell into the Dick Watts Athletics Hall of Fame. Thank you. Wow, I love this place. Uh, <laughs> It's actually an absolute honor to stand up with you all here tonight. Um, thank you to Paul and his Hall of Fame committee for selecting me to be part of such a wonderful group. So if everyone can thank them. They put on a show, um, and it's, it's a lot of work, and they do a great job at it. Um, I'd also like to thank my friend, Caitlin Fisher, who nominated me. Um, I've attended this event since the inauguration in 2014, and it's been so wonderful hearing story, stories about the early years of VJC Hearing those stories made me appreciate a lot more of what we had during our time in comparison. While my experience was very transitional, the athletes before me experienced more like a DIY version of their time here. They made a lot out of very little. And for that alone, it's a true honor and very humbling to be a part of a group that has already been inducted as they paved the way and set the bar very high for the VJC blue collar standards. So thank you, you created a culture um, for what VJC is and SU is today. Also, congratulations to my fellow Hall of Famers, class of 2018. It's an honor to be inducted with you all tonight. There's no question that I would not be here tonight or accomplish what I've accomplished without so many people in this room. To begin, I'd like to thank my family. My family has been my biggest fans 
and my biggest critics. They would be one of the first to let me know when I had a good game, and they were always the first to let me know when I did not do so well. I've genuinely appreciated their honesty over the years as it allowed me to continue to work hard, never settle, set and reach goals, and then make new ones. They have shaped, helped shape me into who I am today. Mom and Dad, thank you for sacrificing so much of your time, money, energy, into my life and athletic career. I remember being on multiple soccer and basketball teams and at, at once, and you never made me feel like it was a problem or a hassle. You gave me the opportunity to do what I loved while sacrificing countless hours traveling to tournaments and away games to support me. Mom, you are my biggest cheerleader on the sideline. Dad, you would often run down the sideline, sideline screaming, run, 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 and go, 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 which always made me go, go, go a little faster. Thank you so much for your love and support. There is absolutely no doubt that my older brothers are one of the biggest reasons why I am here today. They taught me how to play most sports. As, they, as early as I can remember, they allowed their little sister to follow them around and play whatever they played. As I grew older, I did realize the real reason why they taught me how to play basketball with a special focus in passing. If you ever met my brothers, you will know there's not a shot they don't like to take. And if I wanted to play with them, I had to buy into their game plan, pass them the ball. And they will keep me around for as long as I like if I keep passing them the ball. And for that, I dedicate my assist record to them. <laughs> but more seriously, Patrick, my older brother, you have, my oldest brother, you have dedicated your time coaching me and providing the tools I needed to be successful. The shooting strap in basketball one Christmas was one of the best gifts to date. I think we talked after almost every basketball game in college, when I, and you vested, your vested interest in constructive criticism hands down made me a better basketball player. Matt, your passion and intensity on the court always inspired and sparked the energy in me and in my game. You set the bar on how to leave everything on the court. I often thought about you when I needed to dig deep and push even harder in games. Thank you for finding the positives in my game, even when I had a bad one. As an extension of my family, I'd like to thank my teammates, especially the fellow Hall of Fame inductee, Kara Hill, and the 2006 women's soccer team. To start, Kara was one of the best teammates I ever had. I can't say best because I have a lot of teammates here with me, <laughs> but she was truly one of the best. From the day I met her at my first open gym, I instantly respected her and her game. She was down to business. She wanted to win and set high expectations for our team. She helped elevate my game as I never wanted to disappoint her. Without her leadership, phenomenal skills, and work ethic, our team would not have won nearly as many games. She made me want to be a better player and teammate, as is, and it is an absolute true honor that I'm inducted tonight alongside of her since I've looked up to her since day one. Congratulations, Kara Hill. You are the epitome of a Hall of Famer. During my time at VJC, my teammates and I shared many, many wonderful memories. I will not entertain you with those memories, mostly to preserve our reputation. <laughs> but I will share that they all left me feeling the same. The feeling of love, laughter, appreci appreciation for knowing such remarkable people. To give a little perspective, all of my bridesmaids are from Stevenson. Seven of them were my teammates. Thank you all for putting up with me, especially during practices when I struggled to scale back my competitiveness and intensity. At least no one got hurt. <laughs> and a special shout out to my fellow ladies on the 2006 women's soccer team. I truly believe we were sec successful partly because of our team chemistry, but mostly because of our awesome warm-up tape that so eloquently transitioned from down with the sickness, a heavy jam, into a beautiful I'll make love to you, track that would leave other teams stunned and very confused. <laughs> we had a blast that season and I loved playing with all of you. Congratulations, ladies. To be honest, the real MVPs are the coaches as they had to deal with all of our shenanigans. I was fortunate to have three coaches during my time and they all played an important role as I continue to grow as a player and a person. Lynette, thank you for emulating my family as you always kept it real with me. There was no sugarcoating my bad games and I always appreciated your ability to bring out the best in me. You made sure that your players acted and looked like a team. Like that one time you made us come in after a game at 6 a.m. because we all weren't wearing the same away gear on the bus. That was not my favorite practice, but I appreciate you always keeping us in check. I will always never forget the few practices we broke you with our shenanigans and you cracked a smile and sometimes even laughed. <laughs> you were tough on us, but deep down I know you loved us. Graham, who is unfortunately not here tonight, um, but he would go by Graham, or when he would score in practice, he'd be like, Mella! Um, and with that excitement, kind of emulates what Graham is, and I appreciate his approach to practicing games. Practices were very thoughtful, applicable to game life scenarios, and fun, for the most part. 
I especially enjoy the competition days, even when I was his volunteer assistant. Thank you for bringing a new perspective to the game. You elevated women's soccer program to a new level. You left the program in a better place, and now you're doing the same for the men's program here. It's been a pleasure having you as a coach, but even more so as a friend. Coach Raymer, <laughs> I'm, I'm part of his gray hair that he has on his head, I'm sure. <laughs> Um, although I may not have shown it as a player, I have endless love, gratitude, and appreciation for you. Thank you for everything. Thank you for having patience with me, especially when I came in as a freshman and thought I knew everything. Looking back, I realized I knew nothing, or not, nothing much at all. You gave me an opportunity to play through many mistakes and grow as a player, and even more so, mature into a better person. There's no doubt how much you loved and cared about all of us and treated us like one of your own daughters. You dedicated so much time and energy to help grow the program, you develop, and you developed incredible and unforgettable relationships with all of your players along the way. Thank you for being you and allowing me to be me. I'd also like to thank Coach Adams uh, for not only support, supporting me as a two-sport athlete, but as a colleague. You built str a strong athletic department that cares so deeply about the athletes and also focused on the student side. You always said student first and athlete, and I appreciated that. Along this. Among the staff, I'd like to thank Mrs. Zimmerman. Since I decided to only play basketball my freshman year, I worked the soccer games as a student worker. Mrs. Z noticed I was doing a terrible job as a ball girl duties since I spent the entire game juggling on the sideline. At that point, instead of reprimanding me, she actually recruited me and convinced me to play both soccer and basketball at Villa in my further, further years. Also, thank you to MC who kicked our butts in the gym, and to this day, she still kicks my, kicks my butt in our workouts together. Thank you to Ms. Fran, who was always so kind, helpful, and kept everyone in line. And finally, thank you to the athletic training staff as they helped a more stubborn version of myself recover from a few ankle and wrist injuries along the way. My ankle braces were certainly not a fashion statement as they accentuate my ankles. <laughs> Fortunately, as a student athlete, again, student being first, I received a lot of support from the faculty on campus. So a special thank you to Chip Rouse for not only being my advisor, but a dear friend and a mentor to this day. Your love and support has guided me tremendously, and I would not be here today without you. I'd also like to thank Steve N. Gorn and my Stevenson University Online family, formerly GPS. Um, it's interesting, because up until two weeks ago, Stevenson was my home and place of employment for the past uh, 10 plus years as I graduated in 2008. And as I finished my last season as a soccer, as a graduate student, um, an assistant in, in the GPS department, the team provided endless support as I grew into a full-time staff member. Um, Steve was my mentor along the way and helped me grow professionally and personally. And thank you so much, Steve, and I miss you dearly. Um, last but cer certainly not least, I'd like to thank my husband, Nick, um, which gave me this wonderful name, Ramsel. <laughs> Still getting used to it. Um, it's probably the best that we didn't meet in college as I was a lot more competitive and intense back then. Can you even imagine? <laughs> thank you for helping me keep my competitive spirit alive as we continue to play in many leagues throughout the year. I've met my match, and you keep my competitiveness in check as you hate losing almost as much as I do. You are the ultimate teammate, as there is no off-season, and you accept me and my crazy competitive self every day. I love and appreciate you. Thank you.